Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a bit of a studio reorganization. I know I mentioned recently that I got pretty into photography and between that and buying a lot of new gear and just generally from doing YouTube for so long at this point, I've accumulated quite a lot of photography stuff and it is something that I've never really dealt with or really organized and so it's just kind of all over my studio and it's gotten to the point where it's becoming almost impossible possible to work efficiently because I'm constantly running into some sort of photography or videography gear. We've got my lenses in here which honestly this might be like the most organized part of my photography equipment and at any given point there's just like lens caps, tripod accessories, tripods, just all of these kinds of photography attachments that just end up littering my desk. Over here this looks catastrophic because half of this is also photography stuff, GoPro things, other tripods, ring light, gimbal, batteries. And then lastly in here you have the extensively messy photography accessory drawer amongst other things like prototypes, tensor bandage, <laughs> this is also the injury drawer I guess, um, but yeah cases, extra GoPro things. So we are going to attempt to make some sense out of all of this. The other thing I want to work on is this section. I absolutely hate that this screen is here and I hardly ever use it. I just basically use my iPad now anytime I want to watch something. So this is always going to get moved out and into my workshop anyway so it's just going to get removed right now and that will be one less thing in here but because that's going on I also decided to look at this light situation now I still need this light here because it's one of like my main filming lights that I use for videos and photography and stuff so I still need it here but it does not necessarily need to be on a full-blown tripod so I did buy some stuff to build a rig for that as well which I will show you all of the stuff that I bought to do this project Here's the box of fun that we are working with. First thing on top is this Ikea shelf. I have a bunch of these already on my pegboards, but I figured I was going to need one more for the little charge wall that I want to build out, so got another one of those. I also picked up some bongo ties which I've already busted into because I needed some. These weren't specifically bought for this entire project. This is more of just like a multi-purpose thing that I just generally needed, but I very well might end up using some of these for some cable management depending on how that goes. This is just a USB hub port thing. I have a bunch of these around my studio. This one just looks like this, you know, pretty typical. This one has six charging ports and most of my battery charges right now are being powered through a USB port. So I figured this is just gonna be like a super easy streamlined thing to plug everything in. Basically use it as like a power bar for all of my batteries and other charging cables that I need, but obviously much more condensed. This is just a multi-pack of various screws used for rigs and things. I have nothing like this, which is honestly kind of surprising considering how much photography equipment I have at this point. Uh, but again, this was for building some rigs that I want to build and I just figured it was generally a useful thing to have around. There's quite a variety of different screw sizes and other attachments that I'm sure I'm going to find a lot of use for. Again, something not extremely specific for this job, but I figured I might use them for some reorganizing especially in that one drawer if I leave a bunch of my GoPro accessories and stuff in there. They're just some clear acrylic organizers that are shallow enough to fit in these shallow Alex drawers, so they are probably going to be used for a variety of things around my studio. This is actually a tripod extender. I actually have a couple of these. I'm going to grab the one that's out of the tube because those tubes are extremely difficult to open. This is the one that I have in use now. This is sort of a rig that I built up, so the tripod extender itself is right here attached to this smaller tripod with a ball head on top and I really like using this as like a really condensed desk tripod but you know as the name would suggest it is an extension pole like that and I bought a second one because I figured that was going to be the easiest way to rig up the light that I want to sort of change the positioning and streamline so that I don't have this giant tripod pole in the way of reaching my pegboards. I have a C-clamp again for the lighting rig. This is also another type of clamp. This clamp is for actually 
going on the pole for the light itself. I figured this is going to be the easiest way to rig that up and give me the most freedom with rigging up that light since there is obviously a wall and a calyx and a bunch of other stuff in the way. I figured having this clamp on the pole would just let me move things around from multiple angles to get the perfect fit for the area that that light needs to be. And the last couple of things, there's just a bunch of these cord management cables. I have a few of these around places, but I don't have very many left. And this pack had a bunch of different size amounts. Like there's single ones, there's this five uh, strand one for a bunch of cords that I'm probably gonna be ending up using. There's the three ones, just a lot of variety here. And I use these a lot anyway. So these are always useful to have around. And the last thing, which is definitely the most unnecessary thing out of all of this, but of course, some of my favorite LED lights or one of my favorite kinds of LED lights. These are the exact same ones that I rigged up on my desk makeover that I did. And I thought that while I'm giving this entire sort of area a makeover because I really do like filming on the pegboards that I would backlight them. Just something fun to add for the studio lighting situation. I also might be 3D printing some things. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do for possibly the lenses and maybe some other like custom shelving or brackets and stuff. So there might be some 3D printing as well, but that stuff that I bought was just sort of the base level things that I knew that I was going to need. And then obviously if there's anything else I can order that in but there's also possibly going to be some 3d printed things whether I find something or just design something that is going to suit what I need to use it for yeah I guess let's actually start tearing some of this stuff down So here is what the umbrella looks like. I tried to get it in as similar a position as it was before. So there was a little bit of tweaking just to try and get it like as close enough to the wall as it possibly could and just generally the right angle and everything. And I don't know if it's entirely the same, but it's good enough at least for now. And if I realize there needs to be some tweaking depending on what footage looks like or whatever when I'm actually using it, uh, then I will obviously make those adjustments. But the really nice thing that I wasn't sure if it was going to be a problem is, well, you can see there's no dangling cord. And I was kind of worried about that because I wasn't entirely sure what the cord situation was like for this light. These lights actually have the cord on like the back of the light bulb attachment, basically, which is also why they're on smart plugs because I clearly cannot, you know, reach around the umbrella at all or anything. And I didn't know how long the cord was, but I was very easily able to just poke it behind the pegboard. It's not like attached or anything right now. The only place that you really can see it is like around here. It kind of starts to like slip out, but I might attach that later with like a zip tie or something just, you know, on the pegboard itself so it doesn't slip around. But yeah, the cord control for that was very easy. But now it's time to actually start working on the pegboard itself. I'm going to arrange a decent amount of the like general area here because obviously I can now see and use a lot more of it, which is awesome. And I also want to make a bit of a charge wall and just generally reorganize things so that they're a bit better. I got rid of my Apple TV that was down there. So I have a few extra hooks, which is nice. I'm just gonna play around, reorganize things and see what I think I like and I think will be the most functional for me.
is what the finished setup looks like, at least for now. Obviously, a lot of this can still be moved around and switched if I realize I don't like how something's working or I feel like it could be moved up or down or whatever, but for now, this is what I'm going to roll with. So, first thing over here, you have my lenses all laid out. I like them there. It's obviously, like, in line with the charging station, so having all of my photography gear um, that I grab the most sort of in line with each other, I figured was going to look really nice. Right now I just have my two little clip tripod things that I like using with those lights up there, um, but really happy to have my lenses all there that I can easily see and grab which one I might want to switch to. And then I guess the pegboard itself, I moved the tape up there, which is awesome, so I can easily grab that. I have been grabbing tape a lot more than when I originally sort of organized this pegboard for taping up all of the travel palettes and palettes that I paint, so having it like way more accessible for me is awesome. I have my drawing mannequins there. I don't really know if I really like them there, but that was sort of like an empty zone, so I figured I might as well put that shelf back up and put them on it, at least for now. This first little cubby holder thing is actually the one that was down here, and then I found this unused one in my sort of stash of extra pegboard things, so I had the space, so I figured I might as well put them both up there so it's nice and even and uniform. So right now I just have some extra pencils that I've never opened yet, so they're just chilling in there right now so it doesn't look completely empty, but I was happy with everything that was in this cubby and didn't really want to split them, so for now, that's what that's like. Then down here is where the charge sort of photography station starts. So I definitely think I could do a little better with the cable management, but for now it is moderately okay and it's definitely better than what it was when I first started with putting all of the stuff up. So I have my main batteries here for my Sony A6400, which is the camera that I'm using, so I can't really show you that, but they are generally the ones and the camera that I'm filming with, so I'm grabbing those the most. But beside that, I have my GoPro batteries, which I was really undecided with this because originally I thought that I would put it on the shelf itself, but the little charge port thing was just making it really annoying, so I decided to flip it on its bottom and have it poking out so that I can easily just grab the batteries out like that, which is how the GoPro charger works. This one, they also just sort of snap in and out, so everything is really easy to grab, which is awesome, and I don't feel like it's gonna fall off of the pegboard. Obviously, it might, who knows? They are just held up with the command Velcro strips, but considering how the batteries themselves are actually grabbed, I think those are going to be good. I actually have a third type of battery pack charger thing that is absolutely massive batteries. I think they're like Sony type, but they are used, well, I use them for different lights, and they're really annoying to get in and out, and I don't really grab them that much, so I decided to not put them on this charge wall, just because, like I said, they are really hard to kind of get in and out of the charger, and I just figured putting them on a wall would be a nightmare. And then up in this little tray thing, it's sort of the miscellaneous charge section and just grab all, so I have my multi-tool that I grab a lot just sitting in here, obviously the two lights, which is what this charging little thing is for. I put one of the cable management pieces there, and and sort of stuck these down in, and then when I want one, I can just grab it, pull it out. This is the mounting plate for my gimbal, like the one that actually attaches to the camera, which is on another plate right now, so that's why it's not on that. And this is just another tripod plate that might not stay there because I don't really use it. I did decide to use some of my extra little peg things. They are actually the 3D printed ones that were holding up my Apple TV. Uh, use that for one of my smaller rigs that I grab a decent amount. Not sure if that's going to stay there, but for now it's working out. We have the clips and the just general tray thing that I didn't actually move around at all. I felt like it was at a good height as it was, and it wasn't in the way of me doing anything else, so I just 
just left it. Down here I have the sketchbook tray thing that I don't really grab from a lot and it just, you know, it was already on there. There was this space there so I just put it back but that obviously might change. And then down here is actually one of the best little things that I hid. I used one of the longer hooks and obviously it's quite difficult to, to see down there since it is quite dark um, but I use one of the bigger hooks and I put my ring light that I really don't grab for that much and then my two light diffuser disc things they are in these I'm gonna grab the bigger one they're in these little packs that have the like ties on top so I just put those down here and I can easily grab them when I need them but they are nice and out of the way. I know I've mentioned before but having this be a moderately aesthetically pleasing is always a pretty important thing for me because I do like filming on this a lot as a backdrop which is why I also did this. Yes, I did put the LED lights, which I will turn the massive studio light on up there so that you can see them better, but I rigged it up with LEDs around all of the pegboards and I think it looks amazing. Nearly killed me putting all of the LEDs on behind because obviously there was a lot of stuff and just things to work around, but I think it was well worth it and I cannot wait to use that for like backlighting videos. Yeah, that's an overall look at this little corner reorganization. It's nice that I have this clean stretch of wall that I can do something with. I have something in mind, though I'm not sure if it's going to go here or somewhere else in the studio, but I'm going to leave this here for now in that plane and think about that, and I'm going to go ahead and start reorganizing the drawers. And here is the finished result. This was an extreme improvement from what it looked like before. I basically couldn't see where anything was and the drawer barely opened. So you got some camera bags here. This has some SD cards in it, some bigger tripod accessories. So some mini like desk tripods, phone mounts. This is just a full blown gorilla pod ball head that I've replaced and switched out with a quick release plate. Bunch of GoPro accessories. These are just other like smaller tripod bits and things. Mount plates, my head accessory for my GoPro, lav mic, charging cable, other smaller tripod thing, gimbal accessories, my mic case, and then this is just the screws and things that I bought. I just emptied out so I could easily see them all there. And the rest is basically the same. I did, I think, only remove the pencil case, but the other stuff I just reorganized and made a lot better so that everything just generally fit in the drawer better. Now I've got my pegboard all reorganized, my drawer is looking great but the last big piece of photography and videography technology that I really haven't dealt with or found a good solution for is my gimbal. This is a Weeble S and I was looking at this thing trying to figure out maybe how I wanted to store it. I was looking up cases but the biggest complaint that people have with them is you essentially have to like unbalance them if you don't know like for instance this is the camera plate that is very specifically mounted where it is because that is the balancing point for my camera. So as soon as you start having to mess with it and you know put it away and dismount things then you are essentially having to do twice the amount of work when you then go to use it. This is how it was sitting on my desk so it has the tripod attachment there but I was looking at this and you know I was like well I can unlock the joints and lock them so that they are more streamlined like this and I was thinking you know why don't I just custom design myself some sort of shelf for this. Something that this can sit on. This tripod part comes off so overall the size of this is you know quite reasonable and it's not extremely heavy so why don't I just design something that would work well as a storage solution for this and that way I don't need to unbalance things and like take half of this apart every time and it's just ready to roll when I want to use it. And that is exactly what I did and I came up with this. So I found a side profile of the gimbal itself and designed it so that it would fit the curve of the handle area perfectly. And then there is a hole on the bottom where the handle itself can just sit into. And there you have it. It actually works incredibly well. I'm kind of shocked that it does like fit so good and it's really strong. This was 3D printed of course, but it has like 35% infill. So this thing is like rock solid. I've got my screw hole 
holes already to go so that also when this is in it you do not see the screw holes themselves. This is going to be what I mount to that little blank area around there so I'm going to measure things out and get that all set up. And here's the finished gear wall all put together. I also decided to add my GoPro to the side shelf as well as these clamp mounts that I figured could live here while I'm not using them. But that is everything, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.